Bill Belichick doesn't have the players to beat the Miami Dolphins but he can devise a game plan to take away Miami's strengths and make it even, it is hard to defend a Bill Belichick football team. No longer the scary juggernaut of the last 20 years, the Patriots are still a competitive football team that doesn't quit. Well coached and disciplined, the Patriots will give teams a run in 2022 despite their deficiencies, why? Because Bill Belichick knows how to coach football, in the last 22 years. The Patriots under Belichick have finished below .500 twice. His first season with the team and in 2020 when they won only seven games. Only one other time did they finish with less than double-digit wins. That came in 2002 when they won nine games. Last year, Belichick designed his team around a stellar defensive unit and a run-based offense that complemented rookie Mac Jones. For his accolades, Jones' job was not to make mistakes. This week, Belichick will attack the Miami Dolphins' strengths. He will do this both on defense and offense but the question is how will he do it? That is easier said than done and he could strategically force Mike McDaniel to alter his game approach which would turn the game towards his strengths instead of exposing his weaknesses. Let's look at what he needs to do on defense. The Miami Dolphins need to be ready to run the ball with consistency and conviction because New England may force them to beat them by running the ball. It starts with Belichick's game planning. For my money, he will try and force the Dolphins to beat him by running the ball against his much better defensive front than secondary, doing this will force McDaniel into a heavier running game and while that might be what McDaniel would love to run, it would set up New England better because they are strong up front. Forcing the Dolphins to run the ball would open up the passing game but that is why constant pressure on Tua is something I expect to see all game long. I expect Belichick to blitz regularly and often with both pass blitzes and run blitzes in an effort to keep Miami's offensive linemen confused while confusing Tua as well. If Belichick can accomplish this, it will be a long day for McDaniel who has an offensive line that is still learning his system. Offensively, the offensive line is the biggest question mark and if New England owns the trenches, they can have better control over the Dolphins' offense. The Miami Dolphins may need to attack Vailoa to be at the top of his game on Sunday against a solid defensive unit that will stop him. We just finished saying that the Patriots will try and make the Dolphins beat them by running the ball, but to do that, Belichick needs to make to attack Vailoa nervous and force him to make errors. Blitzing will force the Dolphins into quick plays, and we will talk about that on the next slide. Getting Tua out of the pocket isn't good for New England because he is still accurate on the run. New England needs to keep Tua in the pocket where they can collapse it quickly against Miami's weaker offensive line. If Belichick wants Miami to run the ball, a favorable matchup for his defense, he needs to make Tua uncomfortable and take him out of the game as often as possible. The only way to do that is by constant pressure. Tua has a quick read and reacts game but if there is no dump off or emergency route immediately available, Tua will take too many sacks. Pressure on Tua can and should keep the Dolphins' offense in third and long situations and Belichick will do his best to force Miami into those situations. He can do that by again, taking away Tua, forcing Miami to run the ball where he can control more of the game. The Miami Dolphins' success on Sunday may come down to two players, Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell and Bill Belichick knows that, we can tie the previous slides together here, force Miami to beat the Patriots by running the ball force Miami to overcome that by making Tua beat them under constant pressure. Now, it all starts and stops with Miami's premier wide receiver duo. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell, Belichick can't match up with Hill's speed in the secondary. He knows this. That is why constant pressure will be important. He can't match Waddell's speed either, so again, constant pressure. Pressuring Tua means there are no deep passes to Hill or even passes of more than 15 to 20 yards. Waddle is the go-to guy for Tua. He is quick off the line and Miami can hit him quickly to avoid the pressure. If I were Belichick, I would double Waddle, zone cover Hill off the line, and take away the 15-yard route that Hill turns into larger gains. With no outlet for Tua and Waddle, he will have to try and get to his third reads in his progression. That is why pressure is so important to Belichick. This will go back to forcing Miami to beat them in the running game. Taking away Hill and Waddle with pressure eliminates Tua and forces him to make big throws or Miami has to run the ball with success. If Miami can do that, it will open the play action, force New England to not blitz as much, and allow Tua to make his read progressions. 
That will get Hill and Waddle back into the game plan and Miami can easily pick apart the defense. Yet, if Belichick has success in this area, he will bring the Dolphins' offense down to a manageable level that will allow his offense to stay in the game which allows the Patriots to stay in a position to win.